season, illuminate the beautiful lights of Love Tree, and remember loved ones and persons who have made a difference in our lives. We are honored to have several NICU graduates here today. You are such an important part of Dr. Marshall's story, and he would want your successes to be the focus of my words and um, this part of the program. Would you please stand or raise your hand if you've got, if you are a Nikki graduate? Well, here, I know we've got several, several, several. Thank you all for being here. Each of you have been told stories about the wonderful caregivers responsible for saving your life. To healthcare workers who have, who have to plan their lives around a call schedule, Expressions of gratitude are always appreciated and oftentimes all that is needed to get through a tough day. I had no idea that hearing these stories after my husband's death would play such an important role in this grief process. Did you know that so many people learned so much from you? While you were in the NICU, Medical minds came together to make best practice decisions based for your, on your individual needs. No two patients are exactly alike. So how you responded to certain treatment, good or bad, provided doctors, nurses, respiratory therapists, and the rest of the medical team with information and experiences which advanced medical care. So already, your young lives have made big differences in medicine. Each one of you is a tremendous blessing to your family, to my family, to the NICU, and to this hospital. We are also very honored to have retired and current NICU team members in this room, some of whom were here in 1984 when a new young neonatologist came to Greenwood to develop a regional neonatal intensive care unit, which would serve six counties and reduce the infant mortality rate in South Carolina. We even have Terry Robinson, a former NICU nurse with whom Dr. M worked in 1981 at Richland Memorial, now Palmetto Richland. So amazing, such a special thing. I know Terry's here. Um, and the late, great pediatrician, Dr. Buddy Trent, met Terry in 1983 at a meeting. I can't remember, it was somewhere in South Carolina. And um, then he went back and he sent, you know, a couple of big guns. Dr. Roger Stevenson, uh, pediatric geneticist and founder of the Greenwood Genetic Center, and Dr. Joel Shannon, retired obstetrician, over to uh, Columbia to take us to dinner and convince us to come to Greenwood. You know, we must never forget how fortunate Greenwood is to have a world-renowned genetic center making medical discoveries as I speak right now just down the street from this hospital. It is so awesome. So 32 years and four very supportive hospital administrations later, the self-regional NICU continues to provide advanced medical care and hope to parents and babies in Greenwood and surrounding counties of South Carolina. Our 
community values this commitment to healthy mothers and babies as evidenced by the tremendous support of Greenwood community groups, civic organizations, private citizens, and others for more than three decades. The Nancy Moore Thurman Rocking Horse Honor Roll Fund is a great example of this support. Ann Magruder was the Self Memorial Hospital Foundation president in the 80s. I am. She was the one that helped Dr. Marshall figure out how to secure additional funds to support the NICU projects not covered in the hospital budget. I remember Terry being so excited and in awe of you, Ann, when you got Strom and Nancy Thurman to come down here and unveil that rocking horse on the second floor. And it, this, uh, the honor roll is located between the normal and the intensive care nurseries on two. The adventuresome life that my husband and I shared was purposeful and always included the babies. Terry and I raised three sons who grew up sharing their dad with critically ill preemies every day of their lives. He was defined by this calling loved this hospital, and all things NICU. He had so many hard decisions to make. So one time I asked him, how do you make those decisions? He told me. He thought about the Hippocratic Oath, and first, do no harm. And what would God think? And the four-way test from the Rotary Club. Is it truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? John Maxwell wrote, a legacy is created when leaders put people into a position to do great things without them. If you want to create and leave a legacy, you must live it first. Terry Marshall never really thought about a legacy. He knew that as a young boy. He wanted to be a small town pediatrician and take care of babies. He wanted to be a good father to his sons and a loving and generous grandfather to his seven grandkids. I am so incredibly proud and grateful to have shared the best part of my life with Terry and all that he was about. In reflecting over the last 40 years, I know he did live a great legacy. Through programs he began, like the baby reunions, the NICU follow-up clinic, the new mom booklet, which as soon as he became a grandfather, he gave one to both daughters-in-laws. <laughs> and this special beginnings wall, his legacy will live on. Dr. M, our big dad, Papa Marshall, lives in the lives of all of his babies, those biological and the ones who kept him up at night. I see him every time I'm with one of our sons, I saw joy in his eyes every time he saw a NICU grad at a baby reunion or in the community at a restaurant. And I saw love in his eyes every time he was with one of his own children and grandchildren. <coughs> Over the years from Charlottesville, Virginia, where Alan was born, to Columbia, South Carolina, where David was born, to right here in Greenwood, where Drew was born, Dr. Marshall took care of thousands of preemies and from taking care of these babies, he found his purpose in life. So for those of us who are connected in some way to my husband, his legacy is in us. It is in the NICU. The NICU continues to be a beacon of hope for critically ill babies. Because of this incredible service upstairs on two, the skill of the amazing doctors, Dr. John, and Dr. Guerra, and the nurses, the nurse practitioner, David Davis, and the support of caring, a caring hospital, and a loving Greenwood community, the medical care for premature babies will continue to advance. May God's rich blessings guide each one of you in your life's adventures according to his purpose. Merry Christmas. Thank you.